Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Wild Mutt from Ben 10. Let's get started in the center of our page with the mouth. So I'm gonna start with the upper edge of the mouth first. So on the left side, we're gonna curve down and then back up on the right side. Now from here, I wanna curve down and just kinda of angle the mouth outwards towards the bottom. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve out and then down. Now let's connect these two points with the bottom of the mouth. Starting on the left, we're gonna go up in the middle and then down on the right. Now I wanna go in and thicken up the mouth. So we're just gonna trace this out on the outside. Starting on the top, we're just gonna leave an even space gap all the way around the top and the sides and bottom. Now we're gonna fill that trim in black. Now we're gonna go in and add the top row of teeth. So let's start on the top corner here. We're gonna curve down and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna taper this back up towards the top of the mouth, going up and in. Now about halfway down the teeth, we're gonna start on the left side, we're gonna curve down, and then out towards the right. Now we're gonna add some teeth lines. Starting in the center, we'll draw one line, go to the left, draw one, and then one on the right. Now let's add the teeth on the bottom. We're gonna start on the bottom corner here, curve up, and then in. We're gonna draw a larger fang along the bottom here up. Now we're going to taper this back down and in. Now about halfway down the fang, we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve up and over towards the right. Now let's separate out the teeth. Starting in the center, go to the left and then the right. Now we're going to tuck the tongue in behind the teeth. So in the middle here, we're going to draw a point. We're going to curve up and then pull that down towards the left fang. And do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw the tonsil in behind the tongue and the teeth. So on the left side, starting at the top of the tooth, we're gonna curve out and back in, curve around on the right side. Now we're gonna fill the tonsil in black. Now we're gonna move down and draw on the bottom of the chin. It's basically a curve from left to right, but we're gonna add some fur along the bottom. So from this corner, we're gonna step in, curve down, Pull that into right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's add our first row of fur. From here we're going to step in, curve down, and then out. We're going to square off the end with a straight angled line coming in. Now we're going to taper this back up. Curving up. Now we want to continue the curve of the chin coming in, but we're going to add one more row of fur. So we're going to curve it in. Now let's add the same fur. We're gonna step up, curve down and out, both sides. We'll square off the bottom. Now we're gonna pull this back up. Now let's close off the bottom of the chin. In between, we're just gonna curve across. Let's add a little bit more fur on the inside. So on the left side here, just underneath the lip, we're gonna curve down and out. On the right, curve down and out. Square off the end and then we'll pull that back up, just underneath the mouth. Now let's move up and draw on the side of the head. So from the top corner of the mouth, we're gonna step down, curve up, and then pull that in. Now in between, we're gonna step up and draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then back down. Now let's go in and draw on the sides of the neck. So on the left side, we're gonna step down, Curve up and then out on both sides to the same height. Now we're gonna curve this back in and up. Let's draw another wrinkle. We're gonna step down, draw that same curve. And we'll do that one more time. Stepping down, draw one final curve. We're gonna add a wrinkle just in this little intersection here. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve up and out.
Now let's move up to the top and draw in the back. So at the middle, right here, draw a point. We're gonna add some fur along the top. From this point, we're gonna curve up and out towards the left, and then towards the right. We're gonna square off the end with a short angle line coming down. Now we're gonna pull this back in, curving down both sides. Now we're gonna continue this curve coming down along the side. Now on the left side, I just wanna curve down about part way. Now we're gonna overlap some fur. Stepping in, curve over that line, and then we'll square off the end with an angled line. Now we're gonna pull this back in. We're gonna add some more fur in between these two. So from this point, we're gonna curve out with a short line, and then we're gonna angle and square off the end. Now let's pull that back in behind the back. Now I wanna take this curve and just continue behind this fur, coming out and then down, just beside the neck. Now we're gonna to go to the right side. Now we're gonna pull this down even a little bit further, curving out. Now we're at the same height here. Now I'm gonna to start to pull this in. Let's add the outside of the shoulder. From here, we're gonna step up, round out the shoulder, and then pull that back in. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. So let's line this up. We're gonna curve out, and then pull that in. Now I'm gonna connect these two points with a straight line. Let's add a circle on the shoulder armor here. Starting from the outside, come in, and then back out. Now we're gonna add the symbol in a slight angle. So in the middle, we're gonna step down, draw a point, go to the right, draw another point. Now from this left point, we're gonna angle up and out. On the right, we'll go in the opposite direction. Now at the bottom, we're gonna go down. Now let's draw on the inside of the arm. So on the side of the head, right out here, curve down and out towards the left. We do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line this up, curve down, and then out towards the right. Now about halfway along the inside of the arm, we're gonna curve in behind the mouth, coming down and in. We're gonna add a wrinkle on the inside. So from this point, we're gonna curve up and in. Now we're gonna overlap the forearm. From this point, we're gonna step out, curve over that line. Now we're just gonna pull that down. We'll do the same thing on the right, stepping up, in and then down. Now going back to the left side, we're gonna draw in the thumb. From this point, we're gonna swirl around and then back out. From here, let's add in the claw. We're gonna curve this up. Now I'm gonna round this out towards the inside of the thumb, coming around. Now about halfway along this curve, we're gonna curve up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Curving the thumb and then going back out. We're gonna taper and hook up the claw, and then round this out towards the inside of the thumb. Now halfway down, curve the inside of the thumb going up. Now back on the left side, let's draw on the first finger. We're gonna hook it down, and we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, going out. Now we're gonna draw on the first claw, going around, and now we're gonna hook this back down. Now we're gonna connect these two points with a curve. Now at the top of this claw, we're gonna hook over the first finger and in. Let's stack two more fingers on the side. So right beside this claw, we're gonna curve out. We're gonna hook in, curl around the second claw, and then back in. Now at the top of this claw, draw the top of the finger going inwards. One more time. On the side of the claw, we're gonna go up, curl in, and then down towards the tip of the third claw. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve. Now again, at the top of this claw, we're gonna go over and then in. Now we're just gonna draw on the back of the hand. From here, we're gonna curve up and then pull that in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. So we start at the top of the thumb. We're gonna curve down. We'll round out the base of the finger. Now we're gonna draw on the first claw. Going in and then down. Connect these two points with a curve. And at the top of this claw, go over and then back in. Draw in the second claw here. So at the top right here, curve out, curl it around and down. 
connect these two points again with a curve. At the top of the claw, we're gonna go over and then in. One final time. And then from the top, we're gonna to curve over and then into right about there. Now we're gonna draw on the back of the hand, going in and then up. Now from the outside of the hand, we're gonna curve out towards the elbow. So starting up here, go out. Now we're gonna pull that in. From this point, I wanna aim towards this point with a curve coming down and in, but we're gonna leave a little gap in the inside. Now from here, I'm just gonna draw an angled line going up and behind the shoulder. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the back of the hand, curve out. Now we're gonna pull that up. We're gonna to aim towards the inside of the elbow, curving down and then into right about there. Now before I draw that line, I wanna draw on the rest of the shoulder armor. From this point, I'm gonna step out, draw an angled line coming down. From here, I'm gonna curve in behind the shoulder on the outside, going up and out. We'll do that one more time. From this corner, we're gonna step out, angle down, curve around, and then in behind. Now at this point, we're just gonna angle up in behind the shoulder armor. Let's add some fur texture on the back of the forearm. So we're gonna start at the top here, curving up and out, square off the end. Now we're gonna pull that back down. We're gonna draw two more. So we're gonna draw one on the inside. And we'll add one more at the bottom. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. Starting with the outside, curve up, square it off, and come down. Now we're gonna to move to the inside. And we'll draw one more at the bottom here. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add in the hind legs in behind the head. So we're starting on the left side here, underneath the chin, with an angled line going out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, I wanna overlap the back of the hind leg. Stepping up, curving in. Do the same thing on the right, curving in. Now we're gonna curve down towards the bottom of the foot. Curve out and then down. Now from here, I'm gonna round out the first toe. Going out hooking over and then back in, leaving a little space on the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. I wanna add a second toe in behind, but this is gonna get tucked in behind the arm. Starting at the bottom, we're gonna curve around. Now you're gonna see a little bit of it coming over and then in behind the first toe. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting at the bottom, curve around. Now we're gonna see a little bit more of this and then in behind the front toe. At the bottom of this toe, we're gonna add a little half oval going up and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's do the same thing on the outside toe. Going up and down. You see a little bit here, going up and then in behind the arm. Now let's move to the outside and draw on the outer part of the leg. We start just beside the corner of the mouth here, curve out. Now we're gonna pull that down and then in. This is gonna get tucked in behind this arm. Now we're gonna have to step down, curve in. From this point, I'm gonna step out curve down and out on top of the second toe. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the corner of the mouth, we're gonna curve out. Now we're gonna pull this down. Now you see a little bit more of the knee here. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Underneath the knee. Now at the bottom here, we're gonna step over, curve down and out on top of the second toe. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Wild Mutt from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.